Hi, my name is Daniel, and this is Engineering Success. In college, I was a tour guide for my university, and one of the things I learned in my experience as a tour guide for three years was that students and their parents often don't know what kinds of questions are appropriate to ask the tour guide. So I created this video to share 10 questions to avoid asking your college tour guide. The first type of question to avoid is any question about the tour guide's personal dating life. I understand it's normal to want to know what the dating scene is like on campus, but the better way to find out about it is to ask what the dating scene is like on campus. The second type of question to avoid is any kind of question that involves making an assumption about the tour guide from your physical inspection of who they are. It just often will lead to an uncomfortable situation. If you're trying to learn about how the university deals with minorities or first generation students or any other underrepresented populations on the campus, the best way to ask is asking what does the university do for underrepresented populations? Does the university have a diversity coordinator? Questions like that are much better ways to get the same type of answer. The third type of question to avoid is any question that involves asking the tour guide what kind of resume they had whenever they got into the school. My trained response to that question is, my grades and my test scores were good enough to get into this university, and if you want to see the average ranges of people that are admitted, you're more than welcome to check our website. Because tour guides aren't really existing there for you to compare your child to them. They're there to provide stories about their experience and basic information about the university. The fourth type of question to avoid is kind of on the same tone as the third. Don't ask the tour guide a question that they can easily answer for you by referring you to the university's website. It's just a waste of everybody else on the tour's time. There's no bonus points for asking the most questions on the tour. Save the time to ask questions to get the students' opinions on things. For example, instead of asking what the student-to-faculty ratio is, ask the student what kind of access they've had to their professors outside of class time? What kind of office hours? Does it feel like it's an eight to one student to faculty ratio? There's other good ways to ask the same kind of question. The fifth type of question to avoid is any questions involving super sensitive topics, specifically ones that are pertaining to the history of the university. The tour guide is a student and they have their own emotions regarding things that might have happened on campus, especially if things happened involving one of their peers. So it's not really fair to throw that kind of thing on them. And if you're looking for a statement on how the university responded, reach out to the admissions counselor. They're better people to reach out to for that kind of thing. The sixth type of question to avoid is any questions asking the tour guide to divulge their political affiliation or their political stances. It's understandable to want to understand what kind of political climate there is on the university campus or how students react to different things. But the better way to ask that would be to ask, what are the most involved political organizations on campus? What do they do? What kind of speakers are hosted on campus? That's a better way to address the same question. The seventh type of question to avoid is any questions involving personal financial information. May it be the tour guides or your own. The tour guides are not going to be able to provide any kind of estimations or quotes on how much college is going to cost for you. That is more delegated towards an admissions counselor or a financial aid officer. The eighth type of question to avoid is asking the tour guide to help you get into the school by putting in a good word for you. They're not at all involved in the admissions process and they won't be any help. A good question to ask though is if they have any advice for handling the admissions process. The ninth type of question to avoid is any questions that involve revealing personal private information. Save that private information for a personal conversation with either the admissions counselor or the financial aid officer. The tenth and final type of question to avoid is any questions that are heavily numbers or statistics driven. Tour guides remember a lot and they'll know a lot of information and they'll maybe even be able to give you really close answers to the actual statistics. But if you have a question knowing the, for example, the acceptance rate for regular versus early applications or the number, percentage of first generation students or the four year graduation rate, that number will be best answered by an admissions counselor with a computer in front of them. 
Thanks for watching the video. This was 10 questions to avoid asking on a college tour. If you like what you saw, make sure to like the video. Maybe even leave a comment down below if you have any recommendations for other topics I should cover, or if you think I missed any questions. I'll make sure to follow this video up with another video on 10 questions to ask a tour guide on a college tour. But until next time, this has been Engineering Success.